Hi and welcome to the Freelance Channel. My name is Florante. I am a full-time freelancer and I have four kids who are ages 10, 9, 3, and 5. And right now, since a lot of us parents, especially those who are working online, have actually gadgets like iPads and iPhones, um, some of the issues that we have is really getting our kids uh, monitored and controlled in terms of their usage of these devices, of these gadgets. So in this video today, what I'm going to do is I'm going to show you how I'm trying to control and monitor the time that they're spending on their gadgets, on their iPad. I do uh, make sure that they also have time to play with these gadgets. But uh, with this new tool that I have found out, I'm actually able to put more restrictions on the time that they're spending on these gadgets. Um, I'm not sure if some of you are already familiar with this, but the app that I'm referring to is RPACT. And right now I do have with me, as you can see on my screen, on the left side is actually my son's iPad. He is using an iPad 2 and the one on the right of the screen that you can see right now is my iPad. It's an iPad Air and I'm actually connected right now via um, Air Server. So it works really great. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to demonstrate to you how I actually activate RPAC and make sure that it's paired on my son's iPad so that I can control and put restrictions on how many hours or until what time or if it's going to be locked until I say so. Alright, so if you're ready, let's go ahead and get started. First of all, you have to make sure that the iPad, your iPad as a parent, uh, has the RPAC app installed. So that's going to be the control app, the control device. So I'll go ahead and let me scroll there. So there you are right now. I don't have my son listed in there. We're going to add it so you will see how I do it step by step. So the first thing that you need to do is to just tap on the add a child. And it will actually show you the steps that you need to follow. So from there it says on number one, on child's device open the website pair.rpack.com so i'll go ahead and look for safari and let me just close this one so that's pair okay click on go tap on go sorry okay so what I'm going to do next is I'm going to log in to my parents account the IPAC account that I own as the parent Okay, so I'm not going to save that password. I'll go ahead and enter my son's name. So I'll just put it here, Dre, uh, our eldest son. So then I'll tap on pair. Okay, so what I'm going to do next is I'll tap on install. And tap on install. So you'll just have to wait for the, uh, okay, there you go. So I'll go ahead and tap install again and tap on trust. Then I'll go ahead and tap on done. So right now what it's doing is it's actually checking if the pairing has been successful. Okay, let me go ahead and tap on next and see what happens. All 
All right. So as you can see on my iPad here, you will now notice that he's already added. There's uh, there are the schedules. Now these are actually schedules that I have set up for him. So if I tap on block, I can specify if I'm going to block him for a certain, you know, for a specified time for certain like 15 minutes, 10 minutes or until I say so. So if I tap on say 15 minutes and I tap on done, what will happen, notice on his iPad, so block is still pending. Now after the pending has been activated, if I go to my son's iPad, you will notice that all the games that he has in there disappears. So you'll no longer see them. Now let's go ahead and try that one more time. I'll go ahead and unblock him. And I'll put tap on grant, and then tap on done. Okay, there you go. So it automatically pops up all those apps that he currently has on his iPad. So again, I'll go ahead and tap on block and say 15 minutes and I'll tap on done. There you go. It will really be a great help in making sure that we have their access to devices such as your iPads or your smartphones to a minimum. All right, so I hope that helps. If you have any questions, feel free to leave them in the comments. And if you haven't subscribed to our channel, please don't forget to click subscribe. Once again, my name is Florante and I hope you have a wonderful day.